trying not to get too upset about it. Okay, nothing funny going on. Uh, we have a states this game, and I have a 5 2. This board attacks Ghost Ship Margrave Minion. So discard, discard, and discard. Okay, uh, Market Square doesn't actually defend against any of these, and I don't see any actual defense anyway. Trashing Apprentice. Apprentice Market Square is a thing. There's also Island for pseudo trashing. Okay, uh, there's no village, so what are your non-terminals? You've got Apprentice, Market Square, Sage, and Minion. Hmm. You've got a bunch of terminal draw. You've got non-terminal plus buy. So, Ghost Ship seems like a good one terminal per turn. Or maybe Margrave? I'm not positive. You could build a minion deck with what enablers? Market Square, other minions? That seems awful. I mean, you could use Vault, but there's no village, so that doesn't actually work. What are your big money options? You've got Masterpiece, which has synergy with Margrave, but against discard attacks it's just so much weaker apprentice market square just seems really good but it's very slow this is going to be a slow game anyway the attacks are really rough i think i want to go for apprentice market square how do i how do i build that well with a five two i think i just open apprentice nothing i could open ghost ship and try and slow him down a bit the other option is just to play Vault Big Money, but that's oh, that's terrible here. That's just super awful. I could open Minion. That just seems bad. I think opening Apprentice is probably best. I might pick up, like, a Silver or two. Should be able to hit five a decent amount of the time with that. Man, it's really not clear that I'm making the right call. And, like, I'm just not feeling, like, my, my gut isn't... I mean, Apprentice feels like the right call, but I could just I very easily see Ghost Ship being better and me losing the game because of that. And then, like, ten minutes from now, when I'm completely being crushed realizing that <sighs> thinning is winning double silver is probably a good opening Okay, he gets an apprentice. That makes me feel better about my own apprentice. What's this is going to be? Uh, I think I need one silver in this deck at the very least. I don't like Island. Island just seems a little too slow. Just I'd rather have another market square. Yeah, let's get one silver, and I think after that all my threes... Is oh, yes! Yes! Oh, it's so good! It's so good! I'm so glad! I'm so glad this happened! Yes! Yes! I'm so happy, and the dog is happy too, Lexi! Aren't you happy? Aren't you happy? Aren't you so happy? Oh, yes, you're so happy that you're doing that disgusting thing that I really don't like. Stop that, please. Thank you. Thank you, puppy. Okay, now we're going to hit four, and then what are we going to get? We're going to get a market square. Are we going to get a market square? So he's just going directly for Apprentice Market Square. He has a Sage. It's probably okay, but man, I think I like Market Square just more. Man, 
Yeah, maybe sages. I would have been happier if this was a sage, I guess. But I want a lot of market squares. Hey, we're doing it. We're doing it so hard. Is it time to gain a gold? I really think it is. I think this is pretty good. Draw me silver copper. Or that. That's that's just as good. Thanks. Wanted that. I want more apprentices. Should be able to get one this turn, yeah? This should be an apprentice turn. So things are relatively even. He has an extra silver and a sage, and I have two extra market squares. We have, uh, oh crap, I didn't mark that he's going first. After my turn, we both will have thinned the same amount. So, while his silvers are stop cards, you know, they, he just has more apprentices. I also have this gold. I'm hoping the gold helps. I've been hitting four a lot instead of three and five, which sucks. Okay, let's just think really carefully here. In my discard, there's a market square and a copper. I could apprentice trash copper, reveal market square by nothing. And I think that might be best for my deck. I have a decent chance of kicking off soon. All I have to do is line up Apprentice Gold. I draw basically all of my deck. I can probably Apprentice Coppers, get my gold back, buy things. Yeah, I think this is this feels pretty good. just live with this. Uh, actually, I think we're going to be happy about this, because now I've got two apprentices and two golds and nine cards. Uh, we're definitely going to apprentice a silver here. Um, the question is... Well, no, it's not a question, because there are two golds in here. I'm almost guaranteed... To, I am guaranteed to draw one. So I do want to reveal these, because it'll give me more things to draw. There's a third apprentice I could potentially... Yeah, this is definitely the right move. I need to reveal both of these. This uh, this is the turn that's like... Uh, unless... If the silver was a gold, it would have been a more perfect draw. And, and that's about the only thing I can think of. Okay, so now let's think very carefully. 
I have three golds in my deck so there's a gold in there there's two copper market square market square I think I'm gonna apprentice a gold I really would like to be trashing coppers but I don't think it's time for that I'm gonna apprentice the gold only reveal one market square just to make sure I can draw everything this turn because that, that'll really help. I can get more things. Right, I've got four market squares. Right now there's seven cards to draw. But I'm going to draw... I should be able to reveal this, right? Yeah, let's go for it. I should be able to draw everything, yeah? I have a decent chance of it. Yeah. Yeah, okay, good. Now we need to think very carefully again. Uh, I need to get another apprentice. I want to get apprentices in market squares. Let me just briefly think about piles being in danger, but he only has two market squares. So he doesn't have that many gains. He can't possibly end the game. So piles is not my worry at this point. My worry is giving myself the best deck that I can. So I've got four gold, five copper. Well, this is my deck right here. That's that's it. I found it. I want at least one more apprentice. Maybe two. And then maybe it, I could just go double apprentice, double market square. That's probably best. That gives me four golds, five apprentices. Good chances of kicking off. I really only have five stop cards in my deck. And then I get flexibility. I can apprentice and apprentice if I need to to kick off. Yeah, double apprentice, double market squares just seems best. Okay, this is his apprentice, apprentice for sure, these. I have five of them. It'll be a little easier for me to do this if he doesn't get the last apprentice on this turn. He gets the market squares. Okay. Right, because this is his payload. If he only has two market squares, he has no payload. So he had to get this. Okay, I'm definitely going to apprentice the apprentice, and I'm confident enough that I can draw that I will reveal both of these. Okay, let's just stop and think for a minute. There are two market squares, copper, gold, three apprentices. Two market squares, two gold, one copper, three apprentices in here. I'm guaranteed to kick off next turn. It's unfortunate that I couldn't draw everything now but it's not the end of the world. Let's just not get upset about it. I think I want to buy an apprentice. And then what do, we, what do I need to do? Uh, we need to worry about piles for a second. He's got four market squares. He's got five gains. Um, he bought an island? The island's in the trash. I missed that. He must have apprenticed it to kick off at one point. Fine. Uh, well, I can't get piles low enough where it's really a problem. So I think what I want to do is get a Margrave. Uh, and that's just for the plus buy. It'll give me six, seven plus buys. I can threaten to pile estates next turn, which is a little more likely than piling islands. Margrave works as apprentice food just as well as any other card I could be buying realistically. The only thing that I would consider is getting a minion instead of the Margrave to act as that, quote, bad seller. But since I'm 
quote guaranteed to kick off next turn right i've got three apprentices in there and i've got two golds and i'm guaranteed to collide at least two of them the margrave is a more solid play because that forces him to get points he has to somehow get more than eight points on his turn yeah which he really doesn't want to do so this is definitely this is definitely the play Apprentice is a sage. So he still has interest in golds with his apprentice. Okay. There goes a gold. So he's going to get a big turn. Let's see what his deck is. It's His deck is four apprentice, four market square, four gold, two copper, one silver. So he's thinner than me. That's a thing. I feel like he has to get green here. Like, Double Province might be his, his legit only play. Uh, I think I should reveal this Market Square to my first Apprentice, even though I shuffle in a stop card. There is a Gold in here and another Apprentice. I'm confident that I can draw the living crap out of my deck. I was confident last turn, but like I'm more confident this turn. And that'll increase my payload, which I think is important. So how does he win? I think I think his main oper avenue for winning is points. Like he can just outrace me on points somehow. Uh, he has a, a reliable deck, so racing at this point plays for me to have probably another stall turn i mean if i have a big huge payload next turn then i can do whatever i want and i might be able to do some thinning along with it but maybe maybe i don't get to do that much of the thinning and in that case in that case you know he could he could have a pace advantage but I, I think without the pace advantage he doesn't stand much of a chance at all also I, I still threaten the estate pileout so he does have to score eight points on this turn or else he just loses either that or like gets two estates and he get like province and two estates yeah that's eight points yeah estate denial just doesn't seem to be profitable for him So yeah, I think it's just double province. Yeah, I agree with that play. Okay, let's just trash some more gold. We want to get as much payload as we can into the deck. Four, 12 cards to draw. Three more apprentices. Yeah, let's keep going with this. Okay. These last two cards are market squares. And I've got six cards in the discard. Uh, I run a little bit of risk of overdraw, but Apprentice Trash Gold is just... Yeah, because later I can trash copper and play market squares and margrave to lap things up. There's no benefit to doing anything else at this moment, so let's do that. It's just unfortunate I can't trigger more market squares, because I think I might have been able to have more payload on this turn, if that had been the case. I could apprentice... Copper. What's in here? It's another gold, three market squares. So right now, if I just drew everything and played it, I would have 21, 26. I can apprentice a copper. 
I, I don't think I'm using all my buys this turn. So like drawing dead market squares with the Margrave in order to get more gold seems to be profitable. There's one card that I actually have to draw. And then there's two for every gold that I reveal. So I can reveal one more market square while trashing copper to get another gold. So that's a that's a, a two dollar profit effectively. If I draw more by trashing the gold, I can get more payload this turn. I think that might be more important than thinning a single copper is the extra payload this turn. I can do that, draw a ton of stuff, draw everything. Yeah, I think we have to apprentice gold here and just be sad that I couldn't reveal more market squares. So actually this turn went about as bad as it could have given my opening draw. Because look at all this overdraw that I've got. Thirty-two. I could quad province. That basically hands him the game. Let's not do that. Is there a three pile I can take advantage of? Um. Oh, there's only nine golds in the supply. Got to be careful about that. I think double province and then some other stuff might be best. He still only has five gains. If he can quad province next turn, then I lose no matter what I've done this turn. So if he can triple province next turn, which I think he can, then I shouldn't get three provinces, because then I lose that way. I want to get the extra turn after this. So uh, I need to get two provinces and then some other stuff. Five provinces would have been nice, but not in the cards. Do I just do two provinces and full green? Or do I get some minions? Minions could potentially increase my reliability now that I've just added a million golds to my deck. If I stall next turn, I'm probably toast, no matter what. Because his deck is still pretty thin. I buy two provinces. Let's do that. Three minions. Minion can be apprentice food. I mean, it's, it's minion or duchy, right? Are the points important? I think I might lose more times from stalling than not having the points. That's the judgment call I have to make right now. So he saw six of his stop cards. <laughs> he has nine stop cards in his deck, and he saw six of them. That's terrible luck for him. That's an awful draw. He's going to kick off next turn. 
On the other hand, he only has one gold, so he might have to apprentice an apprentice, which decreases his potential payload. In either case, a province here is simply awful. Oh, and I could cycle and pass some good cards. And I get an awful draw as well. I guess the silver lining here is that I have all my apprentices for next turn, so if he can't end it, then I kick off next turn. So we both have a stall turn. Okay, fine. Unfortunately, he was able to get this province, which is very important for him. So this entire exchange is going to uh, probably benefit him. I just have to hope he can't triple province. And wow, what an awful draw! Okay, he can't triple province. This is actually a really difficult situation for him now. How did he not kick off one, two, three, four apprentices, and then he didn't draw? He only has four apprentices. I discarded two of his apprentices. Oh, the minion attack! The minion attack was MVP there managed to get past all of his apprentices and then he got another kind of bad draw so well we need to I need I need to know crappers uh, double province just wins here right I think I should just play the market squares but this is a league match let's just be very careful here I've got nine gold in my deck five copper two provinces those are my stop cards uh, I've seen three of my gold, six of my gold. There are three gold in this draw pile. Three copper, two provinces. Three gold, three copper, uh, no, two copper. Three gold, two copper, two provinces. So two copper and two provinces are my stop cards. There are four apprentices in there. I think I can just play a market square right now and probably be okay with that. I'm not going to gain a million golds this turn. Okay. Now we have to think about... I, I just have to double province, right? Double province wins the game. So I don't think revealing market squares right now is very smart. It decreases my draw and I don't want that many more golds in my deck. So let's just go for a double province turn. Okay, uh, apprentice a minion or apprentice a gold? I don't think I'm going to be playing the minion for the discard ability, so it's a dollar versus a card. Card is probably more important. Apprenticing province is simply foolish. six gold left in my deck, that's $15, I can just draw them and win, right? So let's just apprentice a minion next, and I can reveal a couple market squares too. No, I don't have to do it now. Let's not do it now. Let's just not get crazy. Twelve, sixteen, that's enough. Three times four is twelve. Okay, we're good. <sighs> so 
Sorry, I, I felt like I really needed to play that carefully. I'm, I'm a little jittery right now. Um, update the text box, you idiot. 